Hi everyone, just a, a quick little message to note that it was on this day in 1800 that Alessandro Volta first reported his electric battery, or as he called it, an artificial electric organ. Uh, so here we are on the APS News website, of course this is old, but it tells the story uh, of Alessandro Volta. So he was in, a, in an argument with, uh, with Galvani at the time, uh, arguing about whether or not, uh, say, muscles reacted to electricity or produced it. Luigi Galvani, he thought that um, when he clipped in two electrodes into a frog's leg and he saw the frog's leg twitch, uh, it was because of the electric current uh, that was produced in the muscle itself that would be recorded through these two electrodes, say, on a, on a voltmeter. Uh, I suppose it wasn't called a voltmeter at the time, uh, given that he was in his argument with Alessandro Volta who uh, throughout the late 1700s and finally on March 20th, 1800, stacked together a bunch of dissimilar metals. Uh, so this is iron and brass, for example, some other metal. Uh, here we go, and stack of alternating zinc and silver discs separated by a brine soaked cloth. So here is the electrolyte between two dissimilar metals uh, in a tall pile with uh, now a meter between them uh, could show that it was producing a consistent current going between it. Uh, and now you guys should be able to determine what the voltage was of his pile too. Uh, because again, it doesn't really matter how many stacks he had there uh, because the voltage of the cell is independent of the amount of the material. Okay, so go check it out. The story is actually a lot weirder than it sounds uh, if you're interested in. It was really an interesting time for, uh, for chemistry, because even here we've got uh, Sir Humphrey Davy getting involved, Michael Faraday, uh, and it all started out 120 years ago on this date. Okay, um, all right, that's it for now. We'll talk to you real soon.